exactly, and they build an offense around him, and they were successful. He did the same thing with Donovan with McNabb when they got him. Nobody thought that he could play mm-hmm. quarterback in the league. And then they did the same. He did the same thing when Michael Vick came coming out of jail, and look how he looked. And look at Mahomes. Yep. So I would say, like I said, I'm, 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 I don't, I don't know all the ins and outs of the Ravens, but I've always followed them from afar. You know what I'm saying? Like an Ed Reed and and and, uh, and uh, Ray Lewis. But I would say, uh, I wouldn't say that you need to tear it all down. But I do think that Harbaugh's days need to be over, and they need to bring in a fresh idea. Because from what I see, is a power struggle going on. And how they really want to build the team. Because if you, if you look at their draft in Hollywood, and they wanted to bring bring another receiver in 2020, they couldn't. So you have, could, could you imagine an offense with with, with a uh, healthy side baby if Hollywood was still on the team? Hmm. How it would look? I don't think that. I don't think that's how um, the Cosmos really want to build. And I would hate for him to have waited all that time, and they're not successful. He gets fired. He never gets to see his true vision. Uh, that's just my two what do you think about what I said? Tendo, I'll let you go first. Um, yeah, I mean, I can see all of his points. Uh, most of you know, it's a copycat league. Once mm. a team is successful running something, other teams seem to follow. I just think that where other teams differ from the Ravens is yeah, they may be running a West Coast style, but they do different variations of it. Because you start getting coaching trees and they start trickling off and put implementing their own little changes, like Mike mm-hmm. Shanahan. Mike Shanahan, I, I would, I may wouldn't put him up with Andy Reid, but he's up there. Mm-hmm. But with us, we're still running a 2012 offense. We've taken no bits of the West Coast offense and and implemented it into our style. We just said we're going to be the most run dominant team in history, and that's that's our goal. Like mm-hmm. that is their goal to run the ball constantly. And to me, I just think that not having an open mind about it causes issues. And that's yeah. Har- that's Harbaugh's downfall because how many times are we gonna get to the playoffs and run the ball six times and <laughs> go out in the first round? But everybody still wants to say we're Super Bowl contenders when we can't get out of the first round of the playoffs. So something gotcha. something has to change. Something. Gotcha. And my take on it is you don't have to just constantly run the ball. Like I said, mentioned it earlier, the short passing game in my like. And I know it's on a totally different level. I'm not con- trying to compare what I did to the NFL. But in my eyes, and what I used to try to do with our kids, the short passing game was mm-hmm. just an extension of the run game. Your stick wraps, your, your quick hitches, your um, your, your snag concept. That Those three concepts by themselves, even mesh, are just extensions of the run game without running the ball. Mm-hmm. You're basically getting, especially if you got a, a guy like Tyree Hill or uh, maybe a slot guy that's kind of built like a running back. That's just an, a, a way to get them the ball in space and not have the dangers of throwing the ball 10, 15, 20 yards down the field. You see what and, I, you see, I'm sorry, you see what KC does with Jerry McKinnon. Mm-hmm. The short passes, that dude had nine receiving touchdowns last year. Right. As a running back, all short yardage. 